intro every single time that they do this in honor of Ren being here for his first time on Wasabi 1. Sorry, Ren, I had to. I was extremely excited about the intro because I finally got it working. I'd never had an intro and switching scenes. Oh, here we are. Here, here we are. <laughs> Excellent. So we've got a sudden spawn for the aliens that's tight as gaming, starting as aliens, and we've got a nice early arms lab for the uh, marines up in server room. So they're probably going for weapons one uh, nice and quick, and you've got a two-man split down into mezzanine, and a two-two-one split for the aliens. So yeah, a lot of route blocking going on by the aliens. Two marines here in mezzanine, getting a couple shots off at the hub, guys. Third marine coming up, starting to build. Yeah, that's nice and aggressive from uh, Heracles and D through the mezzanine uh, corridor into elevator transfer. You can see they're hunting the aliens, making sure that they're finding them. Uh, and that's usually a pretty good advantage. You can see Heracles is poking, D is poking. They've lost a lot of health, just the parasites. Uh, they've run out of armor. You can see L comes in with the parasited marine there, takes him out nice and quick. You've got three, four guys coming in to this extractor. And it's only WLF in defense of the mezzanine extractor. And he's going to get taken out pretty quick. Now there's three uh, skulks to take out the extractor. One of the things I like about this, Ren, is the fact that they brought the four skulks in, and you can see that Rantology, uh, or not Rantology, but Gorgeous was a little bit hurt. He pulled off, allowed another skulk to jump in and, uh, you know, do the damage on the Marine, kind of, you know, throwing it off, realizing who's hurt and who's not. Marines moving up towards logistics, trying to put some pressure on the aliens, but a good parasite by L there to take down Eagle Eye. Medpack just misses him, and you can see the early armor one was completed, which is a little bit untraditional. We used to see a lot of weapons one. Aliens doing a really good job of getting through enemy lines. You see you've got two skulks at platform that's going to force these guys to come and defend rather than build up warehouse. Mezzanine on the rebuild, so a very slow start for the legendary snails on their marine play, despite the fact they got that early armor one upgrade. And a great stock by L there to try to catch Eagle Eye off guard. Almost takes him down. He'll stay up with uh, about half health as Golden continues to chomp on that res node. Oh, it gets the kill on Eagle Eye, so it looks like Golden's going to totally take this res node down. Legendary Snails are doing awesome. That was a really nice uh, double bite from Golden that took the kill, and that secures him an extractor kill. And now the Legendary Snails are slow paced. They've got the armor one, but it's clearly not helping enough. And uh, only two extractors is going to set them in a really bad position when those lurks come up. One of the things you guys will notice about uh, the changes to the game uh, visually is when a Marine player has been parasited, they now highlight in yellow on their name. So it's a little bit easier for us casters to actually know that they landed a parasite. D goes down here outside of elevator, transfers three skulks, make their way towards Mezzanine. Unfortunately, King Yo is waiting, and all of these skulks are a bit chipped, so I don't think that Mezzanine is in their future here. Yeah, you can see you've got all full skulks sitting around the hub area, trying to make a, a decent play into some significant area. Uh, only three extractors, so they can afford to take their time. Advantage is in their side. Yeah, the pressure down there in logistics by one Marine as he's working on that RT. Also expansion by Versal up to repair rooms. So aliens deciding they're going for the fourth RT. They took their time a little bit too long. All three Scots have been cleared from hub. That opens up logistics. You can see that's vulnerable. You've got one Marine doing a lot of damage there. Uh, elevator transfer, you might get a build and then a push or maybe just a push. And there's a huge amount of damage that they can take on both harvesters on both sides at the same time. Absolutely, and the fact that the infestation's been receded is there as well means that this harvester's gone regardless of whether or not Wilf puts any damage into it anymore. Pressure by... Up. Oh yeah, go ahead. Yeah, the Lurks have come up. We've got a Lurk sitting outside observation, maybe waiting for a teammate. They've got a lot of damage coming into that harvester. Two Marines, they've both got armor one, and actually they've got a huge crush on them. Five Skulks, uh, five aliens right now, and they're doing a fantastic job of getting right on top of those guys, not losing any players right now. Really nice cleanup. Oh, but look at this. Classic Snails route blocking. Sicknick almost getting picked off there. Golden nearly dying right there. And uh, King Yo doing what he needs to do to try to get that pinch. Pressure now over in repair room as uh, the Marines are starting to put... You know, a lot of aggression on the alien res and grab their own. They're up to four extractors now. It's really nice to see that um, the Snails guys are actually pushing before they've even built up extractors that they could have done because they know just how valuable it is to push. Uh, for example, elevator transfer. You can see multiple teams have come through, pushed onto observation and cleared that harvester. Repair room is now down. Logistics is rebuilding. Uh, and they could have stopped and slowly built repair and warehouse and elevator, but they can afford to do that now, now that they've cleared some of those harvesters. And that's really, uh, really good. Yeah, but I think it's an early indication, though, of a little bit how much they were on their back foot. The fact that they've got the arms lab up at base, uh, one IP, and armor one is the only thing that's been researched here at four and a half minutes. You know, I think we've seen before from the snails that, especially in the NS2WC, which is essentially the only thing we have to compare of late, how aggressive they were as Marines. And I think the aggressiveness is there 
but uh, their income has been a little stalled uh, with the, the early wins by the aliens and their engagements. Absolutely, you can see a little bit of combat just outside of hub and actually the aliens have cleared up hub and maybe even northern tunnels if they can get a nice gank on the side. Eagle Eye's gone down, WLF alone against the uh, pretty healthy Lurk who might finish him off and Gorgeous with the Skulk who's then probably going to move on to platform if he uh, has the opportunity. This is looking good um, for the uh, the Titus guys right now, I mean they've lost a lot of harvests recently. Might have just taken all the map control they need to replace those though. I like that they took the power out in warehouse, I think that's going to help to, you know, again, just delay the marines because they got to take the time to rebuild that power and the extractor, and Versal not giving up, look at this, infestation all the way up to ore processing, they, they are definitely trying to take this map. Yeah, that's a risky investment, the ore processing, it's, uh, you know, about four or five cyst uh, T-res, and then you drop the harvester as well, that's in a lot of T-res that they're investing into a room that's very distant from both their hive and the alien spawn, uh, the marine spawn as well. Right, without that gorge tunnel to help support, you know, your map movement, you are relying on your skulks and at least your lurks to really move around the map to defend all this res. Three men moving through elevator, splitting off. Heracles is going to go hub, and it looks like they're going to rebuild elevator to bring themselves back up to four. These double lurks, though, you know, we talked about it. They can be extremely strong. Signic and Golden, definitely two of the better lurk players out there. They're doing a great cleanup here. You've got the two lurks and a skulk, and with the enzyme as well. That's the uh, shift upgrade from the drifter, helping them fight that without taking any significant losses there. Now they're going to clear up an extractor repair room, though, taking damage. That's exactly what we need to seal from snails is when they lose one side of the map, push the other. Uh, all processing is very vulnerable with the sysline cut and repair room taken, so that might even be two harvesters they take out at this point. Yeah, lots of pressure all over the place. I, they took the power out and mezzanine, which I think is a big play for them. You know, again, Delaying the Marines by forcing them to build, you know, that's, that's a big deal. The aliens have been up to four extractors. Uh, ore processing has finished just as repair goes down. So they haven't really had a loss of income for the P-Res. And you can see that they're sitting at 35. So the fades are going to be out pretty soon. And look at that. The Lurk's going into the, into the oh, vent wow. there and just happened to pull off the kill when it looked like they might get picked. Yeah, so you had Sicknick come into the vent to help out Golden, who was stuck in there with about 27% HP and was being hunted. <laughs> Heracles was holding repair room, but he didn't manage to finish those guys off when they retreated, which is unfortunate for him. Or still alive, but without infestation. It's going to live there for a little while. But King Yo is going to come in and help it along to its final journey. Those double lurks, yeah. man, they're putting on the pressure, and the power they're and elevator almost well. gone. They're trying to sort of enforce a low res game, the, the snails right now, but it's not quite working for them. They're on quite low extractors, and the, there's still three harvesters up they've got to contend with. Uh, and it looks like mezzanine power's been taken up before the extractor, which is a little bit interesting. Well, it's, you know, the extractor's still not going to gain income, so taking down the power, if it's in a position to be uh, eliminated quicker, is probably the right move. Like, someone might have already been biting on it. Marines trying to also get power up. back up here in Warehouse, but the two Lurks, yet again, swooping in with a lot of fury, taking out those Marines, and now pressure on platform. The Marines are kind of in a tough spot. Now, you've now got weapons one. I'm thinking shotguns are probably coming soon because, you know, shotguns in the hands of the snails could really turn this around. Absolutely, and they're going to have to with the fates coming up very, very, very very soon. I mean, that's the 40 p res just ticked. Uh, Els just died, so he'll get the respawn and probably tab that uh, fade egg as soon as possible. Infestation spread all the way up in elevator transfer. you got Wilf up here, but the two lurks harassing him does not mean that he's going to last very long. Crag making its way up here to heal that harvester, or at least make a heal station. No, he pulled it back, so it's a heal station here at Observation. Uh, there's the second hive dropped at repair room before any of the biomass upgrades, so that's interesting. And they haven't got a gorge to help build that any quicker. Um, they do have the couple of fades up. Uh, still, they got those two lurks up, and I'm sure snails are wishing they'd killed those lurks earlier, because that would have made a significant impact on how the game would be going right now. These devs still have no shotguns, they haven't got weapons too. It's going to be very difficult for the snails. Yeah, the platform RT is at 13% right now, and the fades are out. Rantology and Locklear have gone fade. Shotgun's just now starting, and that's a little bit unfortunate for uh, for Legendary Snails right now because they're still a good 35 seconds away from those shotguns being available. There's no one at base to buy them, and these fades are just going to clean up right now. But they yeah, do have a lot of P-Res. 
the Pires is there, but they've kind of lost a lot of map control, a lot of opportunity, and uh, the, the Fades have already done significant damage. You can see they're going to be sitting on two, one extractor for a significant amount of time. The shotguns are finally done, so the next push hopefully is with shotguns, so they can start turning this round, maybe. But you've got the four harvesters with a plus one in all processing, with a crag trying to keep it, you know, extend its life even more. Uh, the hive in repair room is on 26% grown. And uh, any pushes that are coming in now, they're going to struggle and be slow, especially with those fades up. You can see the fades are mobilizing every time. A little bit of a push into uh, outside of a transfer, but here comes Locklear to finish these guys off with the golden helping and the crack there as well to keep them high health. With the golden helping. Yeah, you know, I mean, here's the thing that, that is what we talked about when it comes to the lurks is they're sitting there chipping off, maybe getting a bite in on, on a marine, and then the fade just comes in and swoop, you're gone. You know, I mean, it's so annoying as a Marine to have that happen. You can see that shotgun went down there outside of Mezzanine, uh, you know, with the help of uh, the Lurk. Golden almost went down. He got a shot uh, into him from that shotgun, but then Sicknick was right there to defend him as well. Yeah, I'll never fully count the snails out. They have such exceptional aim that with those shotguns, even with just weapons one, they've got nice teamwork as well. They can clear Lurks very easily. It uh, just takes one well. good shot, right? Uh, yeah, a Lurk can be gone from full health to very very close to death with the uh, at this point a lot of pressure up here double lurk with one fade power out in ore power out in warehouse uh platform going down power back up in mezzanine three marines and it looks like it's the eagle eye all shotguns snails is all shotguns not a single lmg out on the field and i think that is uh that's a little bit of a problem uh, I mean, three shotguns incredibly powerful, but that LMG is almost, you know, kind of your crucial little last second, get that last bit of damage on them uh, piece. Look at this, though. All the aliens decide, oh, if they want to, you know, join forces together, we'll do it too. Taking down the RT there in Mezzanine. And it looks like Sicknick and Golden are both in damage. But look at this, Heracles waiting on the other side. Sicknick going through the. T <laughs> oh my god! Both lurks in one moment there as they come out in platform and ran exactly what you were just talking about yeah uh, the mobilization of the five uh, alien pack into the mezzanine section the snails played it perfectly they got into position they had one of this uh, two in the north of the vent and then two from the elevator is in fact even three shotgunners pushing them through that vent from the southern side of that uh, corridor from elevator transfer to mezzanine just pushing them through the vent when they were low they cleared the lurks up perfectly played repair room is finished Nice use of rupture and bone wall there to help distract the Marines as the two fades were working on them. And I think we're going to see a significant amount of that happening since there are no uh, lurks. Well, Sicknick has decided to re-evolve his lurk. So this is bad news for the Marines right now. I mean, they're already struggling on damage. Um, they're doing pretty well on that harvester, and the, the fades do actually in combat with these two guys. But the real problem is, uh, in about 60 seconds, they're going to have these lurks, and they have rebought that look with the umber upgrade, and that's a significant increase in uh, effective HP for the uh, for the fades, for example, the skulks even. Yeah, almost immediately getting up to biomass four. You know, as you add that second hive, you automatically unlock one level of biomass, and with how cheap biomass is to research, you can immediately research, you know, two more levels in just a short amount of time and get yourself right in a perfect position for that Umbra. But also, you know, something to note here is Gorgeous is now at 60 res, and you can sure as hell bet with the position they're in, they're gonna have him go Onos pretty dang quick. Yeah, and Onos with full biomass and Umbra, that's a lot of HP you've gotta take down. There's gonna be a lot of shotgun blasts. They're gonna have to focus on him, giving the opportunity for the Fates to just clear people up, just to go around and swipe them, and it's a lot easier with that reduced energy cost that the Fates have at this point. Little bit of action going on up in North Tunnels. They're losing these shotguns. And you look at how quickly the P-Res has gone down. That's indicative of how many times they're dying and not retrieving their shotguns. They're very low on P-Res except for a couple players now. And that that's going to be a problem, especially because as this Onos comes out, that means that uh, it has a higher chance of being able to do some damage uh, to these Marines when he runs into the room. And there's Gorgeous down here in shipping right now, getting misted, and he is out on the field, and you can bet he is headed straight up to Elevator. Yep, Marines got a big problem right now, and Onos with this kind of support is going to be extremely difficult to kill, especially with a lot of these shotguns, as you mentioned, being dropped on the ground, and the P-Res lacking at this point. They will not be able to replace a lot of those shotguns. They're going to have to sort of mad dash out and try and uh, reclaim some of those using the recycle. And here they are, snails down to two RTs. They're all getting in the vent with Locklear. Can he get out in time? No, he gets 
shot in the foot. The Achilles. The damn Achilles. You'd think we'd learned. It was fantastic. Nice little play there, but I don't think it'll be enough. They're gonna. They're still going up against five harvesters. The uh, veil upgrades are actually coming out, which is uh, certainly untraditional. Usually, you'd see shells coming at this point, so maybe they're not actually too worried about their HP. They're actually more worried about aura uh, and taking smart engagements, working out where they, how many marines there are and where they are. Aura, uh, but we're also talking about you know the vanilla changes to hallucinations, and I would not be surprised if we saw a nice little uh, cluster of uh, hallucinations popping all over the place. Because that makes it really annoying. Yeah. Here comes the Onos into repair, immediately just wiping out those Marines with the help of his Fade and Skulk counterparts. Golden now going to go Fade to fill in for Locklear, who unfortunately went down there in North Tunnels. Marines have regained Warehouse, putting them, well, potentially back up to four RTs. And Rantology has to evade out of there because hurting very bad. Sick to getting out with seemingly one health. But Gorgeous coming in to say, <laughs> not today. <laughs> those are some lucky alien plays. I don't think they would have lost the game if they'd lost those life bombs, but they were very, very close to death. Uh, by the way, we saw the cat packs start and then end. Now they're going for weapons too. Uh, cat packs are obviously there to try and give a bit of extra uh, speed, be uh, speed boost to these marines when they come up against the Onos, but clearly they know they can't afford that. It costs a lot of money to, uh, to drop those cat packs and have them consumed by the marines, and the weapons too is a little bit more sustainable in a, a longer, longer game, although I think this probably won't go much longer, considering the p and how strong the aliens are right now and how much stronger they're getting. Well, yeah, I mean, with, with five ex you know, harvesters up, you're bringing in so much p res to the aliens that now that they're at the point that they lose a life form it doesn't necessarily matter um you know this this is a difficult position to be in as marines but i wouldn't count out the snails they can push life forms out they've got to find a focus and i think by going level two they they know that they're getting really good shots in on some of these higher life forms and by getting level two, they know that they're getting just that better chance of taking them out in the same scenario that they've been in before. So this is good on them. They're, they're pushing out, going to, for their fourth RT. But look at this swarm of aliens over here in ore processing, just wiping out two Marines with little problem at all. They're going to move right into warehouse, knock that down, and put the Marines right back down to three again. You can see how the alien infestation has spread all the way around. You can see a giant rotation from all processing all the way around to elevator transfer, just defining how much uh, map control the aliens have at this point. And they're not even worried about elevator transfer. You can see they're going actually for a mad push in the northern side, maybe even going to force a beacon if they win this fight without losing anyone. Nice and quick. You see Heracles there with just a right there. Now the base is vulnerable. There can't be a beacon. There's no ops. And here we go. Oh, wow. The entire team out of position, going straight for the arms lab because they know that they can take out anybody that spawns in. No ops dropped outside of base to beacon back, and there we go, folks. The arms lab down, the first IP down, two Marines making their way back in, the team regrouping going straight for the Marines, taking them down, and they go for the second IP, and down it goes, and there we go, GG from the Snails. Game number one to Titus.